What's going on YouTube? My name is Flopfish and I'm bringing you an NHL 12 gameplay commentary online versus some random guys using the Canucks. I'm using the Nashville Predators in these sick yellow jerseys. I love these jerseys. Most people hate them, but not me. Um, yeah. So, I love NHL 12. Um, I think I like it more than COD, personally. Um, but... Actually, no, that's a lie. I like COD better. Um, they both have their advantages. Sports games is where I got into gaming. Um, I think NHL 99. Uh, if you know that game, you're a red team. Excuse me. It's midnight when I'm recording this, and I'm recording it upstairs where everyone in my house sleeps. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much yelling. So, um, you guys can think that you want but yeah it's kind of weird um i may end up seeing this game up i am not sure it depends on how long this game takes um it should be double speed of max but uh, yeah i want to know if you guys like that or if you just want me to show highlights because um, i could do both um i could also do like a whole bunch of highlights from different games but yeah, I was speaking of highlights, I'm going to have an intro 12 montage. I'm going to say, um, if everything goes according to plan, it should be released December, let's go with the 14th. I have no clue when that is. But yeah, so right here I have a penalty shot. Um, I, I'm kind of just destroying this guy. You guys will understand why, this, why I won't speed this up now. Just, that's, I have a right handed shot, that's a typical thing. If you just, especially playing on a goalie, you just gotta do one deep if there's a player goalie and typically skate to the other side and you feel top shot. Um, it works 9 times out of 10. Yeah. Uh, this is why my stats were so tired in the NHL 12. Like, I could have, I was just, I don't know how much time this, time in possession this guy had. It wasn't much, to be honest. Um, you know, he kind of faced the wrong person at the wrong time. And when I'm on my game in this, I'm on my game. Um, there's not much people can do against me. Uh, it's kind of one of, it's one of those things, right? It's like, I don't know how else to explain it, but it's, it's frustrating when you're on the other end of this. But yeah, like, look at that. There's nothing, nothing he could really do. I mean, I just keep them out and... No, then post him in. You know, uh, it's enough for me to react. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, if you guys want to see highlights or set up gameplay, let me know. Also, if you want to see more NHL 12, um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. If and you want to see more, please subscribe and comment and like the video. Um, because generally my NHL 12 videos get way more views than my Call of Duty videos simply because there aren't a lot of NHL 12 commentators, especially on the PlayStation, because there's a lot less PlayStation commentators. And yeah, that's a nice little deflection goal. Um, I don't really score for a while now, so this game will be kind of boring for a little bit, but you can kind of see how I just pretty much took control of this game. I don't even know how long that is. Three minutes, 40 seconds during, and that's including like all the whistles. So in like three minutes of actual game time, probably less than that, I've kind of just taken over this game. Um, yeah. Like, this is the one guy, like one of his few shots he actually gets, I think, um, if I remember this game correctly. But, you know, it's, it's a really fun game. Um, I'm hoping to get better at it. Uh, I'm hoping to have my own creative team. I know there's one guy I'm trying to work with on it, but you know it didn't really work out um, right away. But yeah, we uh, got one game in and the place it, the in-screen game, the in-screen game for us. And pro tip: don't open ice deep when you're down three nothing. Actually, that's probably an issue. Never mind. But yeah. Um, if you guys, I've been doing a little series, like, not series, but a little challenge for myself to win with every team online, and I think I'm at, I forget what letter I'm at. Um, I'm past New York Rangers, I'm past New York Islanders, somewhere's in there. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a fun challenge. Um, 
I don't know how many people I've ever attempted, but if you if you ever want to have some fun, that's how you do it. You know, like everything's new. You get I forget. I think it was the Dallas Stars where I one game I lost like thirteen to one, and I wasn't even controlling the goalie. It's just they had like eighteen shots, and it was just, none of them were even glitchy deeks. It was just. A, all pretty much my gold thing was sucking hard. Yeah. But, you know, overall for NHL 12, uh, I guess I'd give it my review right now. Um, I think for as far as like gameplay goes and smoothness, it probably gets an 8 out of 10. You know, it's a lot of people would be like, why an 8? Just because compared to other years, it's just some stuff that's just really buggy, like hits. Hitting, although they put in the new physics engine, it's still, it's still kind of the same old bullshit, um, for lack of a better term. It's, you know, you'll hit someone and when they're protecting the puck and they won't move an inch, but, you know, if they hit you, you will. If you hit a guy with a smaller person, or like, especially with a bigger person when they're protecting the puck, and they don't move, that really ticks me off. But yeah, we're coming up to an intermission here, um, so I will meet you guys on the other side, and I forgot to cut it out, but peace out, and I'll catch you in like two seconds. Alright, I'm back guys, and welcome to the drop of the second period, and with the second period comes our second topic. Actually, no, it's still the first topic. Actually, no, it's the second topic, isn't it? Um, the first one was kind of like NHL 12 and stuff. Uh, so this one's going to be... Or the first one is about montages. Up it goes to him. Two on two the other way. Thanks for shooting. Mad Channel and NHL 12. And then this one's going to be the NHL 12 review. And I gave it a play, like a control, like flow of, like, I don't know what I called it, but, um, of an 8 out of 10. Because it's just, it's like smoothness. It's not, there's some stuff that needs to be tweaked. Like the game mechanics just, they need to be tweaked. They always will be. But as far as variety goes, I think it's really up there. You know, I haven't played, I haven't played too much else. Like, I've played hockey ultimate team, be a pro. You know, it's the same deal, but you know, it's if you like hockey, it's a dream for you. Also, they brought back fantasy draft, and that is huge for me because I love fantasy draft. Even though like a lot of you probably don't even care about fantasy draft, they're really fun. Um, yeah, fantasy drafts are the way to go. If you want to make a series, that's how you make it. Or like the hockey ultimate. Speaking of which, I restarted mine, which is probably really stupid because I had a really good team. But I still have a really good team now. I think I have more NHLers now than I did before. Um, and that's within like half the time without the starter packs. I just don't have Mario and you. I ended up selling PK Subban on my last team and Brett Byrne. Because Subban you could get a fair chunk of change for. And so for so you could for Brett Williams too. But uh yeah. Hopefully I get Johnny Bum on my team. That'd be really cool to have. Um But yeah, this game this game's coming up to a wrap soon, even though we're ha not even halfway through the second period. Just because this guy really sucks and I'm completely out playing him and when someone really sucks they'll rage quit in this game. Um you know, I I'll stick through the games unless they're scoring glitch goals all the time or the connection's really bad. I'll quit if the if I'm winning and the connection's bad too, like really bad. There's been times where I've done it just because it's unplayable. Well, uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah the Predators, you know, completely control his game here. Um, which is this is just going to be a relentless cycle here. I'm pretty sure. If I remember it correct, correctly. They don't really touch the puck much anymore. At least not to the end of the game, so they touch it there, but that's about it. Um, and remember, I got this a long time ago. This is like, we're talking about a month later, and I still remember this game. That's kind of that's kind of embarrassing almost for me. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for all the support on my videos too, especially my rights. I have no clue how that has over 100 views in a week. Um, I have no clue how you guys aren't like bleeding in your ears, and how is that not a hit from behind? Come on, that, like for reading, that's just kind of that's why it gets an eight out of like overall. I give it a nine out of ten. It's just stuff like that, like it's inconsistent, 
um, like refs in the NHL are a little more consistent than that. I lied about them touching the puck, but you kind of get the point. Um, yeah, I think this is the last rush here. So I think is this fine or I forget who it is. The forehand back and forehand back end. Nice little goal. He rage quits. I win. Luongo sucks. Um, Blake Jeffrey on with the sick deep Gino to end the game. Just watch his goal. Going back and forth back in. And puts it in the net. And this is probably why the guy quit because I was watching the replay because I was recording for a montage. But peace out, guys. And as always, please like the video. Thanks. Bye.